Next, I want to explain you how you can create your own drawing, how to do that. So we go to sheet and then we say add sheet and it creates a new sheet called new sheet five or similar. And I can go to properties and I let me call that my drawing. And first what I want to do is I, I select the drawing border and the drawing border is a DWG file. So you can create, this is a A0 horizontal. So you can create your own uh, drawing border just by putting a DWG file with your own border in the right uh, folder. And let me also choose, um, let me also choose the title block. So the title block is also DWG and I choose title rope int int means international or it's translatable uh, drawing border. Once we have that, we can uh, rearrange section or we can add section. So how do we get an additional section on the drawing? We go to view frame and then we can say add a view frame. And this always creates a view frame here on the top, uh, on, the, on the right bottom. So let me move that to this uh, place here. And I want to show you what you can do with the view frame. Let's have a look at the classic 3D view. So the right plan view is a red, uh, has a red border. So this is the current view frame. And we can use these blue buttons to determine which section we want to see. So we have the four different uh, vertical sections. Or let's say we have a, um, an entrance situation. We can um, also use this uh, view direction buttons to rotate this by 90 degrees so and here on the right side as I told you last time is we see always the content of the current section so there is also uh, a pulley situation or pulley arrangement available there is a machine room uh, plan view available and we also have a 3d view um, of the complete elevator so let's go back and add a vertical section I can then select this and when I get these corners I can pick the corner, keep the mouse and drag this section to a different place. You can also change the, the scale. So go to properties and there you have the scale of this um, section. So if we choose 1 to 25 you see that this uh, scale is larger but uh, now it doesn't fit on the paper. So what can I do? Especially for this vertical section, there is something called symbolic representation and I can choose this to yes. And then you see what happens is that we get this uh, specific symbolic representation. Let me rearrange that. And um, what you can also do is you can easily copy a section. So you can select a section, you, get, you go to start and then you click on copy and paste and this will paste the section here on the right side and let me drag this to this place here and I want to show you uh, under view frame is this component visibility uh, area the green buttons and let me switch everything off this is interesting then we have an empty plan view and if we um, enable pit element so the green buttons work quite similar to layer and AutoCAD so it determines which element groups you want to see. So I enable pit elements. Let me enable some forces and then we have something like a pit. So then I can double click the plan view and I can easily rename that. You see here something like external dollar. Uh, and this is because this is some translatable text, but uh, you can also use any text. So we can say pit, pit here and then um, this text is uh, appearing. So let me add some uh, more sections so I can add a new view frame. I choose an entrance situation and drag it here and let me rotate that so that we view from outside. I can also choose control C, control V to copy paste and um, rotate this. Let me move that here. So, but what we want to do is we want to bring that in line so that this is aligned properly. And this can easily be done by selecting the first section. And let's say the Y dimension should be 475. 
then I can also select this and also put this to 475 millimeters and then it's exactly uh, in line here so that this is uh, the entrance views are properly aligned.